I am so happy to reach you all through this video. This is the video of quick revision of sequence and series, arithmetic progression and geometric progression, which is in the syllabus of common proficiency education, paper number 4, chapter number 6. First, we need to understand what is sequence and what is series. Sequence is nothing but arrangement or list of real numbers in a specific order according to any law or rule. The rule may be like arranging, arrange the odd numbers in list. Odd numbers means 1, 3, 5, 7. It's, it's, the, it's in a rule or maybe even numbers in a list or a number numbers divided divisible by 4, divisible by 5. Any rule can be given. We can form the sequence. The sequence should have rule or law. According to that only we need to form the sequence. Series is expression of addition of terms of sequence is called series. Expressing the sequence in terms of addition is called series. If the sequence have finite number of terms, it's called finite sequence. If it's if it's have a infinite number of terms, it's called infinite sequence. Similar similarly in series, finite number of terms is called finite series. If it has a infinite number of terms, it's called infinite series. This is the common uh, common form for sequence a1, a2, a3, etc. an in as a sequence as well as series, we will be calling the first term as a. Sequence, uh, this is the representation of sequence. As I said earlier, expression of sequence in terms of addition is called series. 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. is an example for series. We are expressing the same in the form of addition. It's series. Next, arithmetic progression and geometric progression. Uh, arithmetic progression, it's... Uh, it's created through, it's obtained through adding a constant number. Geometric progression is obtained through multiplying the constant multiple. Okay. Arithmetic progression is adding and geometric progression is multiplication. We call the D. We use the term constant. The constant is called D, which is nothing but common difference, which can be obtained by subtracting the next two terms. Second term minus first term or third term minus second term or fourth term minus third term. Similarly, it goes on like that. In geometric progression, we used constant multiple. It's called R, which is also called common ratio. Common ratio can be obtained by dividing subsequent numbers. A second number divided by first number or third term by second term, fourth term by third term. As we are adding here, we are separating to find out the common difference. And we are multiplying here to find out common ratio, we are dividing. The general format of arithmetic progression is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, etc. We are adding the common difference to preceding term. So A, A plus D, we are adding D to A plus D, so it comes around A plus 2D, etc. It goes on like that. It goes up to A plus N minus 1 into D. In case of geometric progression, the first term we usually call A. We are multiplying the common multiple r. So a into r, a r. a r into r, a r squared. It so goes on like that. a r power n minus 1 is the nth term. It's a, a, a small formation of uh, example for uh, arithmetic progression. We are taking the first term, a is equal to 1. We are taking common difference as 2. For arithmetic progression, we have to add the number to preceding term. So first term is 1. 1 plus 2, it will give you 3. Adding the two common difference to the preceding term. So 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, it goes on like that. For geometric progression, first term we are taking a equal to 1. The common ratio we are taking r equal to 2. So the geometric will geometric progression will be the first term 1. 1 multiplied by common ratio will give you 2. 2 multiplied by common ratio 2 into 2, 4. 4 2s are 8 and goes on like that. This is the format for geometric progression, arithmetic progression. First let's uh, take a look on arithmetic progression in little bit detail. The sequence of arithmetic progression, for example, let's we take A, B, C, etc. goes to N. The common difference as I, said, as I said earlier, it's the difference between second term minus first term, which is nothing but B minus A. The nth term can be found out by using the formula 
tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. tn is nothing but nth term, a is nothing but first term, d is common difference, n the, num the term we, are go we, we need to find. The, the formula can be uh, reconstructed to find out common difference or nth term or first term depending upon the other values uh, we are provided in the problem. In case of series, as I said earlier, uh, representing the sequence in the form of addition is called series. So, A plus B plus C etc. up to term n, we are taking the series. The formula for finding out the first sum of natural numbers, natural numbers n into n plus 1 by 2. For odd numbers, n square. n is number of terms. Here n is representing number of terms. Sum of squares. For example, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square, it goes on like that. We need to use the formula n in 10 plus 1, 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Sum of cubes. Sum of cubes means 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus etc. It goes on like that. For nth term, n in 10 plus 1 by 2 whole square. n in 10 plus 1 by 2 whole square. We need to use the form. In a series, if we have provided with number of terms and first term and last term, we can use this formula for finding out sum. Sum equal to n into a plus l, l is nothing but last term divided by 2. In case if we are not provided the n, we need to find out the n using the formula as we seen earlier, tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, we can find out the n using that formula. By substituting the n in this formula, we can find out the sum. Otherwise, we use the formula for finding the sum of arithmetic progression s equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d divided by 2. Next, we are moving to geometric progression. In a sequence, let us we assume a comma b comma c etc. n be a sequence of geometric progression. As I said earlier, common ratio will be second term divided by first term. For finding n, uh, nth term, the formula is Tn equal to a r power n minus 1. Geometric progression series. The formula for finding out summation. Summing, summation of geometric progression can be obtained using these formulas. Where the r common ratio is greater than 1, we use this formula s equal to summation s equal to a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. If r is less than 1, common ratio is less than 1, we use the formula s equal to a into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r. If r equal to 1, we use the formula s equal to n a. Where the first and last term are given, we use the formula s equal to l r minus a divided by r minus a. Sum of infinite term, infinite series, a divided by 1 minus r. Infinite series mean it uh, goes up to infinite. There is no finite number of terms as it is infinite series. We use the formula s equal to s equal to a by 1 minus r. Let us look at some examples. Uh, in case of questions given in a sequence and series, we need to first of all find out whether it is a sequence or series. Next whether need to find the nth term or summation or whether it is in arithmetic progression or geometric progression. The first question we are taking is the first three terms of sequence when nth term is n squared minus 2n. They have, they have asked us the first three terms. So, we need to substitute the n with 1, 2, 3 to obtain the first three terms. Next question, which term of the progression minus 1, minus 3, minus 5 and goes on is minus 39. They have given you the progression and the nth term. We need to find the n. In this sum, we need to find out this progression is arithmetic progression or geometric progression. By subtracting second term minus first term and third term minus second term, if the common difference is equal, it will be arithmetic progression. In case of uh, common ratio is equal, it is called geometric progression. We find the uh, in this progression, th this is arithmetic progression, minus 1, minus 3. 
minus 2 is added and goes on. So we need to find out what is the uh, which term is minus 39. We have to use the formula Tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. We know a, we know d, so we, we know Tn. So we can find out nth term easily. This is the direct question. First of all, we need to find out the same as progression 1, 4, 7. So it's 3 is the common difference. So it's arithmetic progression. So we need to find out the 20th term. So we have provided n, n equal to 20, a equal to 1, d equal to 3. So we can find t20 easily. The fourth sum, the sum of the series 9, 5, 1, etc. to 100 terms. We have provided with n, n equal to 100, a equal to 9 and we need to find out this is uh, this uh, this is arithmetic or geometric so we are uh, by looking at this it's it having common difference of minus 4 so it should be it should be arithmetic progression so we need to use the formula sn equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d The next question, the seventh term of the series. The series has been given 6, 12, 24, etc. It has a common ratio of 2. We have given A, common ratio 2. We have found out the term, nth term. N, N is given as 7. So we use the formula Tn equal to AR power N minus 1 to find out the nth term of geometric progression. The sum of the series of minus 2, 6, minus 18, 2, etc. 7 terms. So we have provided with A as it's a geometric progression. We will be having R n given. Uh, we have to look at. We have to in case of geometric progression, we need to check whether R is greater than one, or less than one, or equal to one. In this case, second term is six. First term is minus two. Six by minus two will give you minus three. In case in this case, R is less than one. So we need to use S n equal to a into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r to find out the sum of 7 terms. Next question, sum of the series 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 which gives you 364. The number of terms, how, how many terms sum up to give 364? We need to find out that. First of all, we need to find it is geometric progression or arithmetic progression. As we find, as we, uh, as we are able to see the common ratio is 3, so it's arithmetic progression, R is greater than 1, so we have given with uh, first term, A equal to 1, R equal to 3, and uh, Sn, the sum of sum, we have given with sum, so we need to find out the N using the formula, Sn equal to A into R power N minus 1 divided by R minus 1. The sum of infinite geometric progression, 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 27 plus so on. So, uh, for finding out the sum of infinite geometric progression, we have seen the formula Sn equal to S infinite equal to A by 1 minus R. These are the sample problems. You need to check out, you need to practice some of the complicated problems to face exams. In case of any doubts, you can contact me. For latest notification and circular updates, you can follow us our page CA Medha Kendra in Facebook. For WhatsApp updates, you can uh, text your number to get regular WhatsApp updates. In case of any doubts, you can text me or you can text me. Thank you.